Hey there YouTube, Mike Armstrong here for another episode. For many years I've been taking my own reference photos of my models in the studio, but I generally don't share them. I thought this week I'm going to start sharing some of my photos and some of my photographic processes. I've booked a model. My plan is to do a shoot playing with shadows across the human form. I had an idea for a frame to help me cast those shadows. So this week I'm going to show you how I built the frame, how I set it up in the studio, and then how I positioned the model for doing the shoot and some of the photos that I got from the shoot. I hope you enjoy this week's episode.
This is the setup I used for the shoot. Most of the shooting happened in this space here. At times I was using the stool to stand up and look down on the model. Sometimes I had the model standing on that so I could shoot from beneath. And I also took some of my favorite shots standing up here and looking down at the model, watched changes in angles. And I spent a fair bit of time on the floor, shooting across the floor as well. So all of my favorite shots come from an odd point of view. So they were, they were either a low vantage point or a high vantage point, or the model was placed high or the model was placed low. It's about getting that dynamic shift between the subject and the observer, the camera in this state. Some of this is fabricated because I needed a little bit more light to be able to shoot me. It was actually quite a dark set. The only light I had over this side, I actually didn't use this spotlight. I used the light off a mobile phone to shoot it. I had a very dark, studio for this shoot. Um, I was trying to bring out some of the graininess by having um, a lower level of detail. I did use my LED setup here, which you can see over like this, and I shuffled between the, the different color settings on this to be able to change some of the lighting on the model during the shoot. Next week's episode, I'm going to show you how I built this, so you can build one in your own studio. And I'll show you some of the photos that I get from, from using um, equipment like this. All right. I'm going to show you the, the lighting that I actually had on the in the studio for the shoot. So what you see now is the lighting that I actually did the majority of the shooting, shooting from. I had a mobile phone. I had a, a tripod holding it um, for the actual shoot rather than a person. Um, and I had this amount of light that I was dealing with. I was working in low light conditions to be able to get a lot of those effects. And the only other light that I used for a, for a portion of the shoot was the LED lights that I put on earlier for you. So pretty dark. Here we go, we'll switch everything back on again. Okay, so that's how I did my shoot. I'm gonna show you some of the photos now. I'll put in some of the details about the camera settings that I had for the shoot. I hope you enjoy them. I will be putting in some of these photos up for sale on my Trader Space store, so check out Trader Space. Except for the foaming of the resin, the construction of the frame went really well. It did exactly what I needed to do, and I'm able to hang a variety of materials off that frame. I've also bought a Venetian blind to hang from the frame to use as a shadow casting prop as well. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like and subscribe so you can catch next week's episode. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek into my production process, and I'll catch you all next week.